Hello, stock traders. I hope all of you had a good day just like I had today. So today was very, very good on the market for me, even though it was a down day on the markets. It was pretty great, hoping the best, of course, for you. Today, I'm going to cover all the stocks that we had picked for Monday and see how the top seven list did. We're also going to do a complete recap of the different levels. I'm going to give some advice about sticking to your plan and then also give you a brand new top seven for tomorrow, for Tuesday's day. So there are new insiders happening each and every day. This is a very popular time of year for insiders, and I expect that insider activity will pick up all the way through January. We should have a good month and a half at least of fantastic insider activity to follow and some really great gains and some different supernovas that might happen. So let's do a recap. Here we go. If you are in the basic group and you are following the top seven, you are following the insiders, today was not a great day, but wasn't terrible. A 0.28 percent loss is what you could have expected today. It's a little bit down. Personally, I had a 5.5 percent gain, but I was following a lot of the option plays and some of the different things that were going on in our standard room did really well with a few of those. If you were in the standard room, I mean, some people made as much, believe it or not, of 19 percent today. There were some people out there that really made some big money in our standard room today. Today was a very good day for a lot of options and some different plays that have been called out in that room today. Month to date, if you are following this list, you should be at a 5.07% gain. So, so far this month, you know, up 5%, that's pretty good. And I expect that it'll get more powerful as we get going. Year to date, I am personally at a 1,084% gain. It sounds so weird to say. I just had a phenomenal year and it's been great and looking forward to it continuing all through the end. And hopefully you can get some big winners and some big picks from me and I'll just keep on working on it and keep on dishing them out. They will come, even though today was just a little bit down off the top seven. Some of the trades that I had from the standard group. Now, these are not good investments right now because they've already gone their course. And so these are very dangerous plays to enter now. It's the reason why I sold them, but it was my plan to sell them today. In the standard room, I sold Con Options, C-O-N-N, for 127% gain. And I sold T-O-L Options for a 25% gain. And I want to thank John in our group who called those out and they were just fantastic investments over the couple of weeks that I had them. I just really appreciate it. Looking forward to more great calls coming up. Out of the top seven, I sold CLSD. So this is the top seven list that we had for yesterday for a 0.47% gain. So a small gain, but I needed to sell that and move on, put the money into something else. And hopefully you made money on that pick. Also, I know it did finish quite a bit down today. Sold BKH for a 0.18% percent gain. It had been three days since the insider activity, so it was time to move away from that one also, so I sold it for a small gain. It is so important. I get so many questions about, hey, what about this stock? And it's like, I've set out an exact plan for when I plan on selling it. And it's so important that whatever plan you have for a stock, that you not only plan to enter the stock, but your strategy has an exit point plan also. And that you're in until that happens. Not every stock is going to be a winner. But if you follow your strategy completely and you do it without any emotion at all, and a strategy will help you to take the emotion out of trading. It is so easy when you see a stock drop 2% to panic, sell it, and then how many times have you done that? And then you saw the stock recover and move upwards because it was your plan. Nothing had changed. There wasn't any news. It's just that there was a stop loss raid just for a moment or something dropped 5% just for a moment. It's not your plan to sell it yet. Hold it. Hold it until you've hit that plan. Hold it through your strategy. Figure out what your strategy is. If you are looking for a positive strategy and you don't have any and you're looking for help, check out our Patreon group in the description down below. I give entry points, exit points of my insider strategy. It is a phenomenal strategy. It will make you 300% per year. If you do the standard level, there are so many strategies going out. They're so fantastic. There are other traders in that room that are really terrific at what they do. And iron sharpens iron. You will learn by being part of that group. So please check that out also. All right. 
Let's get to the top seven and others. We have so many great picks to go through and I wanna make sure that we have time to get through them all. We have two extras today. The first is Anthonex, ATNX, and on Monday, this finished down 2.46%. My average and it's $13.42. Since calling this out, it is down a little bit. It is down 2.76%, but there's lots of insider activity in the last couple of months. Also, they have phase two data presentation on December 9th, and they have an upcoming PDUFA date. So there are lots of catalysts for the month of December for Anthonyx, and that's one of the reasons why I like it. I also like it because analysts have an average target price on this stock at $27.41. So there is some explosiveness in this stock, and it could really, really move upwards. So be patient with it. I think that this one is going to be a a winner for us, a big winner. It just needs a little bit more time to get closer to that December 9th and then also the December 30th catalyst. So it's coming up. The next is CHMA, and this is a fantastic stock, and I plan on holding this one for quite a while. This is Chai Asthma, and on Monday it finished up 0.65%, so just up a little bit. My average in it is $4.33, but since calling this out in our Discord, it is up 5.3%, so it's doing pretty well. The reason I like it is because there was a director buy by David Stock, and it wasn't a big amount of money, but it was done in open market, and analysts have a really high target, so this is a value play. So I'm just waiting for news on this stock before I plan on selling it. This is a longer term swing. I don't plan on selling this one soon. I plan on holding it for quite a while. Analysts have an average target price of $13.80. I like it for that big explosiveness that it could have upwards towards its goal. And I think there might be news to come out on this. So I'm going to hold it. I'm liking it so far and I think there's a lot more to go. All right, now for the top seven. The first of the top seven is Rave and this is Rave Restaurants. R-A-V-E. On Monday, this finished up 0.16%. My average, and it's a dollar and two cents. Now, since calling this out in our Discord, it is down 9.31%, so not terrific. I also had a horrible entry price on this, but the reason why I like it is because David Fenley, Senior VP of Finance, bought shares. So if anyone is going to know what's going on in their company, it should be the Senior VP of Finance. And so that was kind of big. And so I think Rave has some news to come out. I know I'm holding through some pain, it has not been pretty so far, but if we get news, this is one that will explode upwards. It was also a very large buy, so it's not like it was some puny little amount of money. So I like Rave for that reason, but it's had a lot of attacks by shorts for sure. But also with a high short interest, you can get a short squeeze and this thing could really fly if it got one. And so that's one reason why I like it. So I think it'll do well. Number six is HCHC and this one is churning upwards. So it's doing a little bit better. On Monday, this finished up 1.16%. My average and it's $3.66. Since calling this out in the Discord, it is down a little bit. It's down 4.37%. This is H2 holding and Aaron Glasner bought $9 million worth of shares. That is a lot of money. Huge buys, three days in a row and analysts have an average target price of $8.50. So I'm content to hold this. I think that there is something going on. It is moving upwards, you know, had a bad day, but I can see this moving up and you know, it's it's down 4.3% since we called it out, but I think it will definitely be a winner for us. I think that this one's going to be good. Number five, wake me up before you go-go. So this is G-O-G-O. -G -O. On Monday, this finished up 3.95%. My average and it's $10.04. And this one's been a good call. So this one is up 9.6% so far, and I expect it to go upwards even more. But Robert Crandall bought $20,000 worth of shares in open market at $10.32. Ha ha, Robert Crandall. I got a better price than you. Anyway, it's kind of fun. There's a lot of people in our group that like to get a better price than me, and they beat me all the time. And so I like to point out when I beat an insider, that makes me feel good. You know, otherwise I feel bad. So, all right, number four. Number four is Foot Locker, FL. And on Monday, this finished down 0.65%, but there's been some massive insider buying on Foot Locker. And my average, and it's $39.44. Since calling this out in the Discord group, it is up 4.97%. So it's really, really moving upwards. Daniel Kredinsky bought $37 million worth of shares at $38.28. And so very bullish transaction. Analysts have an average target price of 52 dollars a share. So this one has some upside to it and it's doing pretty good for a nice safe company like this. I wish I would have bought call options on this one when we had the insider activity, but I didn't. And now it's 4.97% and in options that would be probably around 30% gain. So that would be really nice. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. Number three, 
is ELYS. This is Ellie's Gaming, and this has been a fantastic stock since calling it out. Man, it has moved. On Monday, this finished up 3.03%. It had a few scary times. You know, some people took some profits on it, but it bounced back nicely. And the CEO keeps buying shares every couple of days. In fact, there was another little CEO buy today. <laughs> so as long as this continues, I'm a holder. My average in it's $2.28 since calling this out in our Discord. It is up 48.68%. Hopefully you got in on this early and you haven't sold, that you've stuck with it because analysts have an average target price on this at 536. This thing is really performing and all that insider activity in, and the CEO is willing to pay up to $3 a share. This last purchase was at $3 a share. So that is really bullish activity. And so I think Ellie's has more to go. I'm going to hold it and wait until that insider activity stops or a big news event comes out. You know, maybe we can make two, three, four hundred percent on this thing. So I am in it for now and we'll see what happens. All right, number two is KRMD. This is ReproMed Systems. And on Monday, this finished even. My average in it's $4.90. And since calling this out in our Discord, it is up 15.39%. I really think it's just getting started. John Fletcher, the director, bought shares two different days. A CEO bought shares. CFO bought shares. Another director bought shares. There's lots of insider activity happening on this, and it just keeps on going. And Monday, an aftermarket it wasn't a very big buy, but we have another insider transaction on KRMD. So man, this thing could really fly. You know, analysts have an average target price on this at $10.50. So I am looking forward to what this may bring. And as long as the insider activity again is continuing, I think we got a winner here. I don't want to let go of it until I know and feel that the activity has stopped and the momentum is over. So we will keep going on that one. I'm expecting great things. Okay. And a brand new one. This one is brand new the list. This one's number one because it just happened. And this is AVT. This is Abnet. And on Monday, this finished down 0.21%. Brand new to the list. My average, and it's $32.71 since calling this out. The group is up right around 0.68%. So not a big amount, but it should get better. But a director buy at $32.28. Pretty big. Analysts have an average target price on this at $37. This is just a really good, solid, safe stock. And so I like it. I like the insider activity of it. I like director buys because the stock typically reacts really well from director buys. And so I think that one will, it should do great the rest of this week. So we shall see how it does. I think it's going to do very well. I do a lot of work for this list. So if you could please do me a favor and please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you haven't done so before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified whenever one of these new videos comes out. We do one of these each and every business day. I look forward to the future. This should be really good. I mean, December should continue to do well. I think that virus fears will start to subside. There's lots of good stuff happening. I think that there's quite a few different sectors that could do really well. EV could always do well, even though it has not been doing well lately. I think it will bounce back, definitely. Anyway, there's just lots of positives to the market. So I'm expecting this to continue. And hopefully you are along for the ride. Check out the videos as we go. I wish you the best in the market tomorrow and the rest of the week. And Raytoven out.